you like to say about Jill training you as in the TRX system and her way of uh, using the core? And getting the body in shape. Um, you know, after weight training, speed training, Sacramento for a month and a half, you know, I thought I was in pretty good shape, and I think I am in pretty good shape. And then coming down here, I was able to just test my body with a lot of things it's never done before. And, uh, you know, without even picking up a weight, I was sore every day. So it's been a, it's been a great week, a great change of pace for me, and I think it just exposes the body to a lot of places that they're not used to. And it'd be great for athletes especially because, you know, it's, it's, philosophies out there are very consistent with each other. She just brings some stuff that's new to the table, I think. How are you going to take this and uh, apply it to your training for baseball? You know, she does a lot of focus on just total core strength, and rather than singling out muscle, having muscle groups work together and function um, together, like I was saying. So, I don't know, that's something I want to talk to her about and, and get with my trainer back home and kind of combine the two. While you were working out, you were, uh, or at the end of the workout, you were saying how your posture was different because you didn't have the weight there. Um, and watching it through the video camera, you'll see that things were pulled forward because your body isn't used to it. In terms of modifying your body to get that flexibility, where's that going to help you in your positioning playing baseball? Um, you know, any sport is so unpredictable in what your body's going to have to do and what it's going to be necessary for you to perform that you don't want to have limits like weight training a lot of times offers limits like a specific weight that you're trying to move but it's it's beneficial I think if you can have movements that really push the envelope and really test your range of motion that way if you're having to, to dive for a ball or swing for a pitch you normally wouldn't swing out a pitch you normally wouldn't then your body's not surprised it's used to being in that position and then uh, it can just adapt. And then uh, what would you tell people who are interested in taking this, or curious about this class and wonder if they should take it or not? Um, I would say that they wouldn't be, wouldn't be disappointed. I'd say they're going to be challenged. I don't think it matters what kind of shape you're in because if you're in great shape, you're just going to be able to push yourself a little bit harder. And if you don't consider yourself to be in good shape, then it's, it's going to be plenty for you. Excellent. Thank you.